Alrighty guys, welcome back to another edition of Star One Aquariums. So this is about day three, day four of the fluconazole uh, dosing. As you can see, my wave maker is starting to get some of that stuff off. It seems to be receding. Um, starting to have a whole bunch of dots everywhere. People know what that is. I'm still trying to figure out. I'm pretty sure those are... Uh, What's it called? Uh, snails or whatnot. But then the the interesting thing happened today, and I was wondering what those were. You see the little purple things. Uh, hopefully it's clear. I'm zooming in a little bit. Um, our sea sponges, as I've found out, and they're growing everywhere. And there's even one in this corner um, next to my. Let's get a perfectness on that. Even on my uh, filter. So obviously my tank is doing rather well. You can see purple in the back. So obviously there is uh, some good growth of uh, a lot of purple, even on this filter. I mean, my obviously my coral holder, which has no coral. <laughs> uh, if you watch my other video, you'll see the disasters that has happened to me. These rock clams are still alive, except that one, it came out one day. And it was fish food, but you see there's one under there that's coming out barely. And, you know, there's another rock clam. Actually, I got them from the grocery store a long time ago. Boom, they've been alive for some months now. A lot of them are buried in there. And this didn't really survive well. It's coralline algae. For some reason, there's coralline algae, but the coralline did not survive. So, it's still a little things and blackness like even on my um why am i forgetting names right now forgetting names my overflow box there's still some green stuff on there i don't know what that is but hopefully the fluconazole will uh if it is bad it will go away so obviously the tank is doing well biodiversity in there the little uh what's it called if you can see it the shrimp is under there uh, it's probably too dark. I don't know how the the film will go, but obviously that back wall is still dirty. Might have to scrape it, and there's little white little marks everywhere. So I'm still trying to think of like what those are. Um, everything else is doing well. I need to clean my tank a little more, um, but yeah, everything is going well. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on everything. I'm still dosing uh, sponge power sometimes. Just dose some today. The only thing with that is sometimes the nitrite and nitrate are too low and the tank can rather be too clean. So I only dose it now every like three weeks just so you know. And I do still dose uh, nitrite but or nitrates in my tank just for the macroalgae below. So thanks guys for watching. Any tips, tricks, let me know. And this little guy's always in that corner. I'm always afraid that he will get eaten up by the the flower and anemone, but and this is also doing excellent, excellent, excellent. And this one's always protruding out. And I don't know what happened to him. Well, that one back there is eh, smaller. I may have to feed them. So thanks guys for watching. Peace out.